One of the most in, uh, influential evangelical leaders in Iowa is uh, is a pastor named Bob Vanderplatz, um, who has endorsed who has endorsed uh, Ron Ron DeSantis as opposed to uh, Donald Trump. And of course, Donald Trump, being Donald Trump, has lashed out and attacked um, this this very very well known evangelical leader. And uh, I think it was over the weekend. Um, he he basically is is laying it all out um, and and makes a critique of of Donald Trump that I want to I, I want to play. Part of this is political, and then it goes to the the issue of of, of character and and morality. So let's just play this. And again, keep in mind that uh, Bob Vanderplatz is a big player in evangelical politics in Iowa, and evangelicals are very very influential and important in Iowa Republican circles. Let's play this. And what you're seeing from the former president is character being revealed. Character being revealed, first of all, with Governor Reynolds and what he did by cutting a video against her. Two of the most popular governors and the most results-producing governors in the country. The governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. The governor of Iowa, Kim Reynolds. And you completely throw them under the bus and you call them names. And that just because they don't bow the knee to you. This is not new. That's not leadership. The number one hurdle for Donald Trump is I've never met a dad or a mom or a grandpa or a grandma who have told me they want their son or daughter or grandchild to grow up to be like him. That's a big deal. Trump deserved to Mm -hmm. lose my endorsement. Matter of fact, I've never endorsed him. But he proved he was not worthy of the endorsement. A me of the ministry and by extension, the broader body. And I believe Iowa will rise up. I believe Iowa will send a message on January 15th. Because I think they're seeing through this as well. Uh, this is smoke and mirrors. This is not leadership our country needs. Okay, so w- what are we hearing here? This this is clearly an evangelical who's willing to call out Donald Trump on the issue of character. And that point he makes, that he's never met a parent or a grandparent that wants to use Donald Trump as a role model for their old ch- own, uh, children. I would think that would be a much more powerful and resonant message than maybe it's been so far. What do you think? Nope. Uh, nope, Charlie. So nope. there, I say nope for a couple of reasons. <laughs> One, because nothing, nothing he said was new. And mm-hmm. in fact, you know, when he talked about what was really making him angry, notice the massive amount of corruption he left out. Yeah. He said mean things to Kim Reynolds. I mean, yeah. this is on the, on the scale, saying mean things to Kim Reynolds, it doesn't even measure compared to Impeachment no. one, impeachment two. Yeah. Sedition, the, insurrection, you know, I, violation of so, the Espionage Act, racketeering. But, but we have seen stars. this and we have seen this in some folks, like a Jenna Ellis, for example, who all of a sudden, wow, Donald Trump's not a good guy. Okay. Welcome. I you know, look, I don't want to be one of Hello. these people who's sort of like swatting so as they're walking down to the front of the church to repent for past sins to like swat them with the church program and say why didn't you come sooner no we have to welcome all folks to this cause obviously and i welcome his moral clarity in this moment absolutely without reservation but there are a couple a couple of factors here charlie nothing he said is new every evangelical critic of Trump has made this point for yeah. eight years. So nothing he b- said breaks new ground. Number two, every political cycle, some of the activists in these early states kind of have their moment in the sun. Yeah. And a lot of people come from outside the state and they go, oh, I'm talking to this person who's extremely influential. Right. Now, I'm not saying he has no influence, but one of the things that we learned in the Trump era is how little influence the various kinds of GOP activist gatekeepers have. Almost none. Um, he hmm. Trump did not ride their wave into the presidency. He rode his own wave. And then the last thing, and this is really important, I think, for your listeners to understand, and that is you and I, your listeners, are extremely up to date on all of the terrible things that Trump has done. Right. We know them all. We can cite them right. chapter and verse. You move one inch out of our own sort of... Uh, our own political reality, and you move into and you start to talk to folks who are in MAGA America, they will know only the smallest fraction about Trump. The smallest fraction. Yeah, They live in, again, this bespoke reality. And one of the ways this bespoke reality is maintained is by gatekeeping. And so 
how much will the big universe of MAGA media cover Bob Vanderplatz? To the extent that they do, it'll be in the most negative way possible. So a lot of really profoundly negative events or th terrible things that Trump says or does, to this day, his supporters don't know about it.